Hey guys, welcome back to Kristen DIY. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to update um, this wicker set that I have. Um, it's gonna have a boho look to it when we get finished. Um, so first of all, we're gonna what we're gonna do is start by just cleaning it. I've got my shop vac, so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all the dust and everything out of it. Um, then we'll clean it and then we will get the spray paint out. Okay, now that we have all the dust and the leaves and everything out of it, we're just gonna clean it up. Um, I'm just gonna use my water and vinegar that I use on my furniture. I don't really know if you're supposed to use this, but I know that I'll get it clean and it won't hurt it. So just give it a good wipe down and let it dry and then we'll spray paint. Okay, we are ready to spray paint these. Um, and I'm using Rust-Oleum, and the color is uh, Warm Caramel. And this has the paint and primer in it, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, what do you guys think? I think it cleaned up so nicely. I love this color and the way it looks. Um, one thing we do need to do is put a protective coat on there. So I'm using a mini wax uh, water-based poly acrylic finish, um, protective finish. And so I'm just going to go over this entire thing. Um, it took me about two and a half cans of spray paint. It'll probably take me probably two cans of this as well. Um, so here we go. Okay, here is the final outcome for this wicker set. Um, this was such an easy way to make a really good profit. Um, I was able to make $200 profit on these, as in a, and as you guys saw, um, it was a really easy flip. I just bought them, cleaned them up, spray painted, and put them on Marketplace. Um, so this, uh, these wicker sets are very popular right now. Um, they're, I don't know, they're just popular. People love them, so if you see them, I would grab them and try this quick flip, um, and it'll probably be worth your time. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching my channel. Um, please feel free to uh, subscribe and like, and I would love to hear from you if you have any questions or comments. Thanks again.